here and Sachi Tian to ask any questions that you have with respect to super couples, super women, or any other question on your mind. Thank you, Team Gander Bar and Shristi Publisher and Lot Fingers, OK Baby as well, to giving to give me this opportunity to be live here with, amongst all of you. Feel free to shoot out any question that you have. Gandhavar team, I'm waiting for the questions from you. Thank you. So here is uh, here is Caustic says, let's begin the session. Yes, sure, Caustic. I'm waiting for the questions coming from you. Please share. So, friends, so here's the first question from Gamdal Bar that says, Is there any difference in your life after writing two books, both as a person or as an author? Uh, so, I think as a person, definitely not at all. I'm still the same. And whenever I go and give, give my books to my teachers, they still feel that I'm the small kid for them who used to keep bugging them. And there's been absolutely no change the people who know me. But yes, as an author, I feel that yes, there are few things I have, my writing has evolved a bit met bit I started thinking from more holistic perspective and uh, I have started thinking from other and aspects like marketing as well while writing a book which I was not doing before in my first book so I think I've become more uh, focused while writing now the earlier uh, my first book was came out more as a hobby but then in second book it's like super couples have become more uh, focused I know what needs to be there need to go what need not to be not, not need not to go Hope that answers it. That answers it. So, second question again from Team Gandhar. According to you, what is the role of an author in the society? I feel that author plays a lot of very important role in the society because a lot of people read them, right? And they kind of map their life with what has been written. So this means, uh, this is a very clear uh, thing that they, are, they should write very positive stuff. They should kind of uh, write things that actually inspire the, inspire the whole society. So the, anything that they write, they, it has a clear cut impact on what society feels. So I think they play a really important role and the writing should be very inspirational. So in the question from Anurav, Anur Anur Anurav is, who inspired you writing? I think uh, writing is, was always in my genes. My father, uh, especially my, uh, my parents, especially my father inspires me to write. Because as a kid, when I was like 9 to 10 years old, he used to ask me that why don't I uh, actually write for letters to, letter to editor right he always asked tell me tell keep telling me that and encourage me that i should actually be always uh, express myself if i see that this is not happening good i should just shoot an email to them right uh email to them or write a postcard to them because i think years later 20 25 years before it was all of the emails that used or a uh, postcards that used to go so i think uh, that that really force uh, that really kind of encouraged me to write and this is how it is hi agam any question for me agam how 
wow this is very really interesting what inspires you to what inspires me to get out of bed each day i think uh, i look forward for each day with respect to what how my audience have reacted to the to the book right so i think uh, in, in even in midnight i just go to amazon and see when what is the ranking of my book so for from past two years i think this has been one of the one of the inspiration for me to get get out of bed each day not sure if that answers your que- answered your question agam are you looking for some, something different answer Uh, so there is a question from Nidhi. What is my favorite Hindi film? Honestly speaking, I'm not that great movie buff. Uh, but I think uh, there's a, like I think the one movie that I really keep uh, coming back to me is Vat. Uh, that talks about how our time changes at uh, how how the how actually time changes right in a fraction of second. So it is all about that there in a small place there uh, earthquake comes in and how the life changes so that that movie is really close to my heart thank you agam yes it was indeed an honest answer didi i'm not very sure have you ever heard of that movie or actually yes or no guys please shoot your questions uh so there's a question from gangarbar team that says which couple was the most interesting one to research for super couples uh I, I, again i would be really candid out here because there were many couple there were when i was preparing the list of uh, super couples there were i actually listed out around 30 couples however while uh, by the time i could complete my book i could speak to them i could research about them and i could put it on a closure you would not believe that out of those 30 only i could complete only 19 because for remaining 11 either they parted their ways so i would not say it would be what is interesting how interesting but it was this this was a major key take away for me right that this also can happen or as few of their startup shut down so uh, i would not like to um, give anybody uh, name any any couple out here but yes this was a major key to key take away for me that you never know how things may pan out so so while starting a starting a startup you really need to be very cautious and every step counts because it might put your relationship on stake as well so team gantabar was i able to answer your question i know it was not exactly the way you wanted me to be uh, but it was little dif- different it i answered it little differently There's another question from Anura. Is writing your passion or something else? I think writing is my passion, right? So whenever I go for traveling, where with to unexplored places where there is no, ah, uh, no technology, or you can say that I go whenever I go for technology detox, writing is my best companion. And uh, solo traveling has also helped me to write a lot. And it really helps me to detox myself as as an individual as well. So there is a question from Kanchan Janga Foundation. What is a take on philanthropy? Uh, I, I am really sorry, Kan. Uh, team, uh, I'm really sorry, team, because I am not at all a philanthropist. Yes, I do help go out to the way and help the people on the go, but I do not have those big things. The uh, I I do usually do not talk on big intro type shot. I'm I'm really sorry. I don't think I I can really answer this question. because i strongly feel that philanthropy is something that you can't teach someone or you can't force on anyone it has to come from within and it is primarily ba- uh, based on our the way we have been brought up born and brought up there's a question from gyan dilwa team that says any plans to write a fiction 
Trust me, I can never write a fiction. At least for coming two years, I do not see that I can write a fiction. The reason behind it is that I cannot relate story. I cannot write a 30,000 or 40,000 big novel, right? Uh, which have interconnected stories. And that is, I think that is the precise reason. I chose a very easy route of writing 20 small stories. Fiction, fiction was a lot of creativity, which I, I, I doubt I have that, that level of creativity. Uh, well, uh, there's a question from Adam that says, well, and what is your favorite place to write? I think uh, my favorite place, I prefer writing while I'm, I'm, I'm on the beach or I'm on the mountains. And uh, yes, there are times when I do undergo writer's block. And I think at that more time, uh, whenever there's a light music and some, some nice ambience really helps me to write well. And that, that is it. I think ambience and uh, ambience matters a lot for me to write, to improve, to remove my writer's block because that is something that comes to me most of the time. There have been times when like after, for like, I have not written for two months and then suddenly I started like, oh shit, this chapter is pending, pending. let me just go and jot the things down. Moreover, I prefer writing first on the piece of pen and paper rather than just uh, jumping, typing it. Just jumping into typing on, on my laptop. So there's a question from Gyan Dabati. Marketing of books are getting tougher with time. What makes your new book sellable? I think uh, Shishti people can tell it in a much more better way. But yes, the you, I, what I uh, receive as a feedback from, uh, from the readers is that they like my book because of the easy style of writing. Secondly, they feel that it is uh, my books are more inspirational. Because in this startup ecosystem where everyone is looking for the co-founder, they are looking for what can help them to grow in the startup system, what can inspire them. Uh, these bo uh, both superwomen and super couples are really uh, going helpful for them. Especially uh, because uh, they talk about real life stories and they do not talk about fictional stuff, right? And they are, uh, they are more of things that people really would want to know from the horse's mouth as they always say. And I feel that this this is one of the reasons that they, it is making my books more sellable. Does it answer, Steve? There's a question from Anurag that says, what kind of struggle, struggle did you confront in the beginning of writing? Anurag, I'm assuming that this word is struggle probably. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, like every writer, I think uh, every author probably, the biggest struggle for me was to uh, writer's block, definitely. Since my book was based on real, uh, real, women, real women entrepreneurs and real couple entrepreneurs, uh, the, the struggle was to research, was to find the, real, uh, find the folks who fit into my theme of the book. Then I think second was, uh, then reaching out to them was another struggle because not everyone is really keen to get associated with you. Uh, they have their own apprehensions. So after multiple conversations, I was able to kind of uh, convince them that why they should help me out in this cause and they should... Uh, tell their stories to they tell their stories to me then uh, i says all of them all of us be, be it me or be it them they are kind of little busy busy with their daily like day to day schedule uh, that, and another challenge was to chase them and to make sure that everything gets completed on time and not to miss finally the chase of a, a fi uh, i think to find the right publisher so here i got a little lucky uh, to have shristi publishers with me
that's how that that's how the struggle started for writing and i am sure the struggle will continue uh, in the form of finding right audience who really like my work and who can share the genuine feedback if they are really li liking it or not liking it so there is another question from anurag anurag only your best day in life so far i think there would be multiple uh so just to start with uh, i cannot say that one is a best day for me each day has something or the other to bring on bring it on but yes a uh, few days to uh, share are one of them were when i hold my first book of super uh, super women then definitely when i hold super couples it was also one of my best days uh when i started gumofuru.com and i got acknowledged for it uh i would say that i was in college that time at great lakes and my dean told me that uh, indian express folks have come to cover you it was indeed my it was very it was a mixed feeling for me uh when i got got first press coverage saying that okay uh that you have started something on your own while in the college and all that stuff so and i'm sure there will be multi there are more more to come uh so adam says that uh, it seems that adam does not uh, agree with my writers blog word because he thinks that multiple times i'm kind of talking about it but yes i do go through writers blog and i do strongly believe in it because there have been times when i absolutely not been able to write a word what exactly i wanted to uh moreover there have been times when just in the in the just way to finish my finish of particular chapter i've just written things and then after like a month when i was just reviewing it i said oh shit for that what i have written is it me who has written this so i think writer's block has its own different forms it might not exactly come in the way that i am not writing it at all but it may also come in the form that i'm writing i am myself is not satisfied with what i wrote that could be one of the ways uh, one of the ways i could define writer's block for myself yandebar says if it happens then what will be the name of your biography i've never thought about it i i i seriously doubt why would someone write about my biography probably i would be the one as who would land up writing it on your on my own so so i don't think so Okay, uh, so Gyan Tagar has a question that says challenges challenges that you faced while writing Super Couples, right? So as mentioned before, I think uh, the most important uh, challenge that I uh, I faced was uh, finding right set of couples and ensuring and ensuring and and their time as well because it took me almost to uh, I think it took me almost what almost an year to complete this. uh this come entire journey of super couples where in good amount of time go, uh, gone in through uh, gone gone into finding these super couples and then reaching out to them and then closing out these names that okay hey these are the people i would want to list in my book because they they would actually would be interested uh, would be actually an inspiration to the couple real life couples who really would want to do something together on their own wow this is interesting Prince says that Superwoman would be the name of my biography, but I think since Superwoman is already the name of my book, so I have my doubts. Can we actually have two books with the same name? Thanks, Prince.
Okay. Uh, so there's a question from Nidhi that says, you travel to write or write because of the traveling you do. I think uh, it is vice versa because of the traveling I started writing. And, uh, and then, uh, and so yeah, so I basically write because I travel. And I have a lot of free time while I'm on, on the go. So Nidhi, I hope I answered your question. This is a question from Abhishek that says, how you thought to be an author? It's a very tricky question uh, because I feel that becoming an author, um, so I became author out of serendipity. I never thought, so yes, I always wanted to write a book since my childhood and it was always on my bucket list. But while I was working, uh, while I started my enterprise, Kumokira.com, I faced few challenges wherein people came up to me and as a woman, they said that they felt that I should not start this and so many things that I get to hear during my start of homofield.com. So it was then I realized that is it something, are these challenges just to me only or, people, or other females who get into this go through the same. And then I reached out to these few women entrepreneurs who were in the same boat. And then when, and then I spoke to them and then I realized that, oh, yeah, challenges are same, but it is the way we are tackling them, the way we are trying to come out of them are a little different. So why not I kind of compile all these stories and try my luck to be an author. And that's how it happened. Abhishek, I hope I have answered your question. So Gyan Darbar team is coming a very tricky questions for me. Uh, so they feel that, uh, what is my take on cinema, business and politics in the country? Okay, so okay. So team, honestly, uh, I'm not that ardent fan of cinema. I totally, I, I do like movies, but uh, most of them um, are art movies. And uh, I feel that cinema has, I, I feel that parallel cinema should really come, come to reach to mainstream cinema because cinema also play a very important role in uh, helping a society to grow up. Uh, they should, uh, I, I feel that they're right, uh, in the in the current scenario, they are not doing the job, they really are supposed to do it. So uh, there's a lot of need that parallel cinema need to come into the mainstream one. Coming to business, uh, yes, we are doing good in terms of it and I think a lot of startup things are coming on, uh, which is a very good sim uh, symbol and uh, especially with this Make in India program and startup in your programs, I think uh, we are getting a lot of government grants as well, uh, which is encouraging youth to not only just getting into the service industry, but to explore more options around them. Reli re so for sure, I have no comments in politics because I definitely do not want to get there. So I'm sorry. Mm, so here's the next question from Gandhava team about, about my startup, what is Gumofiro.com? Definitely, yes, I am passionate about Gumofiro.com. It is, uh, it, is a, it is something that I started four years, now five years back while I was in college and the idea of starting Gumofiro was because I'm a passionate traveler and I love, love, love traveling, simply love traveling and, uh, uh, <coughs> and I think uh, so at Gumofiro primarily we organize corporate team events. Since I came from a corporate, corporate organization, I always felt that there is a gap, there, there is a gap. So there are multiple uh, uh, big names like Make My Trip, Clear Trip, etc. Uh, travel agencies who, who help the people out, but there is still a gap of something that can actually organize that is only for corporates, right? So at Gumofiro, we make sure that we organize team events, start for corporates, and wherein we can help you with end to end things from a two hour lunch to a three day offsite as well. For now, we are still, we have uh, limited ourselves to uh, only what you call uh, only domestic travel. But yes, we do uh, hope to go international in coming two to three years. Uh, recently, we also started something for women solo travel, wherein, uh, because in India, still people have this apprehension that is India safe for women, women who are traveling solo. Uh, so in, during, in this whole journey, we try to have a, uh, give you maximum experience, maximum interaction. You can do it with females only to avoid. So uh, while in case you are traveling to India into any part of country, we'll, we'll try to make sure that 
uh, your entire group of people would be females. Make sure that your guide, your dri driver, they are also females so that you kind of feel more safe and your safety is our prime concern. I think this group of uh, this women solo has actually kind of been really uh, really taken in a very positive sense from the from the foreign uh, from the foreign, foreign females who really like to travel India but always been taken a step back because of the security issue and they have really acknowledged it and they really like liking our services. So there is uh, so that's about Guma Firo. Next question says uh, from Agam, do you remember the first story you ever read and the impact it had on you? I really need to think about it. Oh yes, so I think I, I really, the first novel that I read was um, Alchemist by Paul Keleo and I have, I think that in the, that novel has a deep impact, on, has impacted me a lot because I still, uh, I think whenever I'm little down, uh, feeling little low, I kind of go and read one or two pages from it and I really love that line that cheers your dream. Each one of us are of us have dreams but it's just that few of us take a, a step back and do not dream it so i think uh, the chase your dream really 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 inspires me a lot so next question comes from agam uh, that says that how do you come up with the idea of super couples so as i told you that i think while i was writing superwoman i thought that what if because in india there's a lot uh, I think not only in India, most of the most of us are really uh, apprehensive that how how it would go when we would try to kind of uh, have our life partner as a co as a co-founder of our business as well. Because I mean, with so many memes that go, memes that goes around with being husband wife and so many jokes that goes around, I think that that inspired uh, that forced me actually to interact with real life couples who chose to be together twenty four plus seven. And that's where the idea of super couples came. So guys, please shoot, shoot your questions. I'm sure that you must have 100 things going in your mind. What is super couple about? How was, how is it happening? What is what is Superwoman about? So do, do feel free to ask the questions. Go ahead. Uh, so there's a question from Prince Tripathi that says, what about the manga question? There are so many popular mangas with a great storyline. Have you read one like ever? I'm really sorry, Prince, if I really understood your question. Can you please help me understand the question so that I can answer it better? Prince, can you please help me understand your question? Meanwhile, I would like to take up the question from Gansabar team that says, do you like music? Yes, I do like music. Uh, I, and I think uh, the kind of music that I like totally depends on my mood. If I'm in a full, lively in dancing mode, definitely some good dance numbers. If I really want to write, I think uh, um, simple, sober guzzles would work for me. And yes, I do like Gulzar, not to miss. This is a tricky one. What was the last music album you bought? I think in the world of Ghana.com and Savan, why would I really bought the la uh, bought the music album? I'm really wondering. But I think uh, that must have 
screen i i i i don't think i i really do not recall the last music album that i bought so these days it's just a it's a youtube world sorry it has to be some some thing from gulzar only gulzar sahab only that is it i am sure about it so i really do not remember but yes it has to be him only by the meantime some more questions comes up i would really really urge urge you all to take order your copy of superwoman as well as super couples i'm sure you would really enjoy reading those life life of real couples trust me the the way they are managing their lives it is really interesting i was really impressed the way they they were doing it while even interviewing them speaking to them and i'm sure you would really enjoy it while reading it too So this is interesting. Ah, uh, so Gandhiba Team Sweets uh, has a question: Are you a morning person or a night owl? I think I'm both. So when it it is, so I change, I switch my rules depending on how much work is left. So yes, there have been so when there has been there have been times when I have to write. So I think I can do a better writing while I'm in mor while I wake up mor early in the morning. Why? Ah, uh, whereas when there is a lot of office work, office things, office tasks. I think it's I become a night owl to complete them all, but when something of my interest comes, it is I have to be a morning person. That that is the time when I work best. So Agam thinks the uh, Agam has a question that says, "Do you view writing as a kind of spiritual practice?" Ah, uh, I am not sure sure if it is a spiritual practice for me or not. However, yes, indeed, it helps me to detox myself. when they were um so i mean so i have days when i'm like feeling really little uh low and i really wanted to bring my things out whatever is going inside me and i think right at that moment writing has really helped me so not sure if it is a spiritual practice but yes it has really helped me uh as a person it uh, writing has really brought out the best of me because uh, because of writing i do not keep the th things inside me and i kind of bring them out whatever i feel and while once the things are on paper i think i became all the same again so all the friends i have not read any of these books that you are referring here uh, so mangas like naruto dragon ball one piece ghost in the shell etc i'm sorry i have never read them <laughs> this is a very interesting question do you google yourself uh i think yes i have i have to do it now earlier i never used to do it i have to do it now because to make sure that uh, in case uh, in case to to add stuff to my author space to be very honest so whenever i so i need to keep myself updated in case someone and uh, there is some news there is something that has been probably if you may say that it's a part of my so called marketing my books probably that is one of the reasons Why? Why I have to keep googling myself? So I don't why. It's not not sure why you Google yourself, but yeah, that 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 is me. And I think and I think I, I think it's it's really good. It's really nice to Google yourself because it at least lets you let you know that uh, what uh, what people think about you.
There is a question from Gyanda Bhatia that says, "Does your family support your career as a writer and as a whole?" I totally agree to it. I think whatever, uh, be it my books, be it my Gumukuru dot com, be it my travel, I think it's nothing would have been possible without the support of my family. They are truly the people who 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 are backbone backbone for me and for all the initiatives that I for all the crazy initiatives that I keep taking. The best part is that they never say no to me. They said, "Okay, you want to do it? Go ahead. Let us know what we we are supposed to, how we can help there." Okay, so Gyan says by teams has a question that says if you had to do something differently as a child or a teenager to become a better writer as an adult, what would you do? I think I would have read more books though I was an avid reader, but I used to read fiction a lot that time. I think if I would have been reading more uh, both fiction and non-fiction because I think I started reading from class. Eighth or ninth, right? Probably if I would have started reading little early, I think I would have been better writer. I definitely feel that. So Prince feels. Ah, uh, Prince. The uh, Prince has a question that says, "Recognition in Bollywood does it matter to you?" No, not at all. I don't. I do not. I mean, that that's not the path ever. I would want to think about. Any platform where you want to see yourself, I I think I'm happy where I am right now. Uh, in case so, yes, I would really want to go go ahead, move ahead in my in uh, entrepreneurship in Gumafree dot com. I really wanted to excel there, and though we are doing pretty good, but yes, uh, that is one way, one part I would really want to keep moving and keep growing. Definitely writing books as well as as well as an author as well. I'm not sure if. Um, Getting some uh, accomplishment in terms of any prize, anything in with while literature, while writing, someone really appreciates that. I think that would be the biggest gift to me. If so, or or if you can say, if anyone comes and tells me that yes, uh, they got really inspired what what I wrote and they started something on their own, and that is because of my book. I think I'm 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 really sorted. I I feel that the whole purpose of writing those these books is is complete. So, um, so Adam has a question. What is my favorite childhood book? I think um, um, so. I used to read a lot of Nancy Drew, um, Nancy Drew drama. So there were a lot of uh, criminal and all those things, thrillers. They were there. It was more of a spying, etc. So yes, I really enjoyed uh, reading Nancy Drew. Or you may say I have actually grown up reading this, reading the her book. Uh, so my favorite sport? Yes, I enjoy playing badminton a lot. And I have been playing it since my childhood. I really, really, really love it. Though I miss playing it now, but yes. There's a question from Aditya that says, "What inspires you to write?" I think uh, 
Um, expressing the, um, I love expressing myself. That is what I try to do. So there are several thoughts that keep going inside me, and I feel that the writing is the best medium to express. Definitely, I cannot do much about Amazon Little, which at times uh, which I still remember one of the little that said it's the worst book ever by for by it. So I was looking in this hard one at the show on on that day. I was like, what is that thing? I wish I could go back there and reach out to that person. Like, what is that? That person did not like it, right? But uh, yes, there are uh, but good reviews definitely helps me to motivates me to write. And uh, they also help me to understand that okay, this is what people are liking it, what people like, and definitely a detailed review helps me to improve better. Team, is it better now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So there was a question that says, uh, from Gyan Devar team, what kind of research do you do, and how long do you spend researching before beginning the book? Uh, yes, I so thanks to Google, I yes I go through various articles. I go through what, so depending on my subject, I go through. I do. I think I spend usually spend like six months at least to research. What is my book about? Which each and every chapter. So, for example, for Superwoman, I researched about all the women and then went through different different articles about them. And then I kind of went through what all related related articles as well to make sure that whatever information I'm going to write about them are they really right uh, for the set of audience that I'm targeting my book. So it's about it's, it's pure media that I go and research about them. Am I audible now? No, Prince. I am not that. Um, I'm, I, I have never read. I, so I, I know many people have asked me to read Pride and Prejudice uh, and uh, various things from Ed, Emma, but I have not. Somehow the Somehow those classics don't connect with me, connect to me. So I, I usually don't read that. I think I prefer reading primarily books, uh, where in, which talk. Prince, I'm not sure whether you could hear my response. I prefer reading books which I can connect to day-to-day -day life. Uh, for, and that is the where I like reading Sudha Murthy a lot because I think uh, she echoes a day every every day uh, generation of uh, everyday generation of today's women. That's why I like reading her. Uh, I do, I have never read uh, Pride and Preju uh, Prejudice or Jane Jane Iron, none of them. Thank you, Aditya. Uh, so for, uh, so your question says, can we expect a movie adaptation of your books anytime soon? And which couple is your favorite in your latest super couple book? I am not very sure if there will be a movie movie adaptation of my book because because given the way there would be lot many characters in the book, so I really can't think about it. I'm sure if ever ever I plan to write a fiction, I would really love that it gets a movie adaptation. I'm not very sure though. Uh, my favorite couple, couple I think uh, it would be really truly an injustice to those remaining couples if I would. Name that couple because uh, which is my favorite because for me 
each of them have each couple has gone their own ups and downs and uh, i mean so they have their own set of stories right for for, for few it is fun for few it is a rough patch and they have a key key takeaway from there's a key takeaway from each of them so i'm really sorry i don't think i really want to name any of them personally Abhishek says, uh, "Do you want each book to stand on its own, or are you trying to build a body of work with connections between book? Uh, so there is no connection. So if you see, there is no connection between each of uh, each of these books, except that all of them relates to entrepreneurship. Ah, uh, each of the each of in fact, I would say each uh, chapter in each book is also non-related. The only connect. So for example, in Superwoman, the only connecting thread between ah." Uh, in the book in 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 the chapters of the book is that all these chapters relate to different different women entrepreneurs who took away the challenge and they came, and they stood out whereas in the super couples the only uh, the only connecting thread is that these the, uh, these are the real life stories of the couples who took challenge to be found uh, to be founder with their to have their co-founder as a spouse that's the only connecting factor if you see So yes, I I I I'm I'm confident that all of my coming books would be we can stand on their own. So there is no as such connecting factors. So I think Gandhar Bhai team has come up with really really tricky questions for me. So what other authors are you friends with, and how do they help you become a better writer? Um, I I I don't think that I can I can really name any. that any of my friends is a writer because uh, i'm kind of like a, a i i think i am the one chosen one who had took this path which which also happened accidentally but yes definitely i would like to name that shrishti has really helped me to become evolve as a writer because uh, many times i have given them the scripts and the after between in between several acceptance rejections and what needs to be added what needs to be deleted that has really helped me to grow as a writer and mature as a writer what are the common traps for is it so abhishek is it tips for the aspiring writers or you wanted to ask what are the common traps for aspiring writers so i feel that it has the question has to be what is the for common tips for aspiring writers you want to check and let me know meanwhile i can take up the next question so kashik wal says that what is the first book that made you uh that made you cry okay what is the first book that made me cry i think i i don't think that i i can ever cry reading the book probably but yes there are there are instances for example while i was reading wise and otherwise by sudha murthy there was an instance wherein someone uh, i don't remember exactly the story but there was an instance wherein someone uh, blind as um uh, someone uh, some someone disabled uh we actually he she actually he actually got a prize and he hugged her parents and i i think that was a very the little sensitive moment for me and i i the few drops of tears did did came came so amazon bihar la uh, thinks that i am i happy with my amazon sales yes so far so good i think they have um, yeah, we are moving pretty nicely on amazon and i am really looking forward for good numbers for both super couples and super women So Abhishek, is it tips or traps you wanted to know from me for the upcoming authors? What was an early Agam has a question that says, "What was an early experience where you learned that language had a power?" Yes, I language is powerful. I remember, or uh, as I told in my, uh, as I sh- as I shared that uh, while I was a kid, I used to write lot of uh, letter to editors, and I remember with one of the instances wherein uh, there was something was happening like municipality committee, municipal folks had a like, lot of uh, dirt and etc was happening around, and I wrote a letter to a uh, letter to editor to that mentioning about that, and the action was taken up, taken against, taken against it. I think. I was in. I should be somewhere in like class seven that time, and I think I really felt good. As I mean, as a kid, I really felt good that time. I mean, it. I I felt that okay. I mean, शायद बने कोई किला जीत लिया है. मेरे कहने से यहाँ पे ऐसा हो गया है. I think that was a feeling. I 
as a kid I had. So I, I think Abhishek has changed the question. He says, how to get started in the writer's writer's world? Uh, I think first of all, what is important is to decide whether you want to write a fiction or a non-fiction. What exactly you want to write? How do you want to write? And why most importantly, why do you want to write? I think the moment we have this clarity, why do you want to write? It it opens a lot of doors, right? Because once I have the clarity that, okay, this is what I want to write, it helps you to define the path that, and it, it not only helps you define the path, it lets you decide the genre, it lets you define the chapters, it lets you, as you actually plan a kind of skeleton about your writing. Once, but what is most important is why do you want to write? What is the message? What is the outcome that you are looking after with your writing? Uh, so Prince has a question that says word carry, words carry so much power within them. It is abstract though. Like the language of the soul. Yes, words have a lot of power. I, I mean, as they always say, it's the words that can actually make or either make you or they can mar you, right? So if you're talking, if you have speaking some nice words to anyone, I'm sure that person would fall in for you, right? If you're giving them really, really, if you're, I mean, so, so the categorization of being rude, being nice and being sweet, it comes all because of the words. If you are being nice, why being nice? Because I'm talk we are talking some nice words with them, right? We are rude because we are, we are speaking some harsh words. So you're right. Uh, words carry so much power within themselves. They actually are the showcase of our thought process primarily. That is what my, what I feel. Uh, so question from Agam, uh, how did you, with publishing your first book, change your process of writing. Uh, publishing of my first book, uh, yes, it, it made me, uh, so why, it made me more focused as I shared. It made me that I know, so at least now, now I know what works well, what does not work well. During my first book, I was very, very edgy. What will happen? How it would go? How, what I mean, so there were a lot many whys that were going on my mind. But I think with my second book, I have become more calm. And I know that, okay, if it is not happening, so I'm sure that it would pick up a little later. If it is not going good, it, it I mean, there is something missing in here, which was not in the case of first book, right? So I, I remember, I mean, I used to like, I was really, really edgy while during the publishing of my first book. I was like, oh God, so this is not happening. Uh, this, uh, this publisher has also rejected my script. What to do now? How it will go? So there were a lot many questions always on my mind. But I'm glad that, all ends well as well. Question from Gya Team Gyandarpa. What is the easiest thing about writing and what is the hardest thing about writing? Uh, so the easiest thing about writing is that you always just need a pen and paper and just write the pen down whatever thoughts in your mind are, right? They could be, so no one can stop you. Or so it's all, and no one is even reading unless you want to show, show it to anyone, right? So it's, uh, so while writing, it helps you to, bring out the best and the worst, right? So at times you land it. So while you write, you actually can glance through what, what I actually you are going through. So that is what's the easiest thing about writing. But what is the hardest thing about writing is when you know there are several thoughts going in your mind, but still you cannot pen them down for some or the other reasons. And that is where what writer's blog is. So Agam uh, has a question that says, do you aim for a set amount of words pages word per day? I do not. I definitely do not. It's just about writing happens, right? So it's about, okay, so today I wanted to write this. Let me try my hands. If it is working, fair enough. But definitely no, I do not sit and say that way. Hey, I have to write, I have to finish this chapter. Definitely not. Unless there's a pressure from my publisher and say that, okay, this is, this is the final manuscript and you have to review it and you have to edit it and you send it across to me to us by this day. Unless that, that is a pressure, I definitely do not sit down. There's no clear cut set deadline for me. Hi Nidhi. So I see a question from you that says, do you have a special time to write or how is my day structured? I, I prefer writing in 
during my morning hours because I think that is the time when I feel most comfortable writing. But still, uh, having said that, still there is no preferred timing. Uh, whenever I think that, okay, this is not happening. So I, I, I just scribble out. I just scribble. And that's the precise reason I all usually keep a pen and paper with me most of the time. Uh, and my day is structured most of the time with respect to the writing, morning or the late nights. Whenever I think I have a free time, I, I prefer to write. Or whenever thoughts are coming on mind, or I say that, okay, this is what something I can add to my current chapter. That's how it works for me as a writer. Abhishek, uh, so Abhishek has a question, who is my favorite author? I think Paul Keleo and Sudha Murthy. I really love reading them. Both of them actually inspires me to write and uh, not only to write, but also they help me to understand that, okay, this, these are, all this is happening around and how we need to kind of, they write very right, really inspirational, I, I must say that. So Nidhi has a question that says, any contemporary fiction you read recently which hated? No. I, I love to read, but I think on and off, off late, I, I am not able to find time to read. At least in past two years, I have not been able to read. And I, I, and most of the, most, most importantly, I love reading non-fiction these days. Apart from, okay, so apart from Sudhamurti and Paul Kilo, I think I, I love, like, I've started liking reading more non-fiction. Team, shoot your questions, please. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, the team is quite best place to travel in India. It totally depends on your choices, right? So, if you are a mountain place, lay like that, definitely not to miss. If you are a beach play, if you are a beach person, I would say Kanyakumari, definitely a big yes. Uh, if you're a party person, you would not like to miss Goa for sure. So it totally depends what you enjoy as a, as a traveler. But uh, I would definitely, definitely would say Leh Ladakh is one place everyone should go in one lifetime. I mean, for once at least in a lifetime. And I'm sure I can go there like, I wish I can, I could be there for eternity. Prince, I'm not sure why you give me, why you put me in such a, such a tricky situation. So here's a question from Prince that says, I need to choose between Chetan Bhagat or Krishwan Singh or Salman Rushdie. Do I have more choice? Do I have an option of none of them? None. My answer to it is none. the back for the rapid fire i'm all ready what is your favorite color pink Ever thought to write a sports? No. Favorite word? Love. Favorite quote, sky is the limit. Do 
Do you remember? Yes, lot many times. Yes, I do. Not many times. Quote something from super couples. Uh, they're not. I, I do. So Prince, I am not very sure uh, because there will be long quotes about them. But yes, I definitely can share a key takeaway uh, from, from the book Super Couples that says that uh, we should not. Ooh, while you are starting anything with your spouse make sure that you define their goals right you define their rules and responsibilities and never ever step on each other rules i think that is the biggest key to take away from the book super cover and not to miss always uh, keep your pro uh, personal life ahead of pro professional life never let it take a back step coffee or a tea coffee I'm a coffee person. Morning coffee is much for me. Favorite sport. Badminton. Your first celebrity crush. Okay, you mm. might laugh at it, but yes. Abul, President APJ Kalam. He was my crush. Biggest mood spoiler. Negativity. Favorite song all the time. Favorite song all the time. All the time, all the time, favorite song. Tumbin ziya jai kaise from Tumbin, movie Tumbin. Favorite book from so Prince question, favorite book from Kalam sir. All the books, be it Wings of Fire or Wings 2020. I love each, love each of them. Favorite singer, Jagjit Singh. And this is Mohit Chon as well. He sings well. Favorite movie character. Movie character. Mm, I'm sorry. I have no answer to it. I think coming to think of it, I really liked uh, Konkana Sen 
in page three. I really liked it, liked her. Best TV series, friends, who would not like it? This is why I'm sure that my teachers would love to listen that what type of student I was. I was a, I was a backbencher. I never used to listen to my teachers. And uh, every time my mom used to go from the PTMs and they used to say, we don't know whether we should complain about her or not because she never studies. But still she's able to complete her work. So we're happy. And I was talkative. I have been suspended out of my class quite some time for quite a number of times because of being talkative and not listening to my teachers. Ah, Khan of Bollywood. Ah, what to say? I do not like the movies at all, to be very honest. So I think. Ma'am, I mean, I, I absolutely have no answer about it, right? I, I, I do not, I don't even recall which movie. I think last movie I watched of any of the Khans was Salman Sultan. I really liked his work. And the way, I mean, the entire thing, I, I think his script was very nice. So I liked it. But otherwise, I'm, I'm literally very indifferent with their existence or non-existence, to be honest. So I'm not that ardent fan of them. Favorite from Hollywood? I do not watch Hollywood movies. Sorry. You're asking a wrong question, wrong person, wrong question. Uh, so, well, uh, was my family with me or against about writing career? I think my family has always supported whatever I chose for. So, they totally appreciate what I'm doing right now. And they have, their support mattered a lot in this journey. So, my favorite sport Gandhava team is badminton. I love playing badminton. And yeah, I enjoy watching cricket as well. Like every other Indian. I think I love being a kid every day. Yes, I do. I have tried. And I, I don't think I have to actually have to try. I feel like being, I act kiddish every day, every time. Favorite cricketer? Rahul Zabir, Sada Ganguly, and Viren Seva. Light ever. Yes. Many times when it is a when need arises to help someone or in my schools and colleges, yes. Lot many times.
Any more questions? <clears throat> Any more questions, see? Thank you. Favorite fashion designer? Uh, so Nidhi, I think, uh, I don't think I'm that fashion buff actually. But yes, uh, I like designs of Prithu Kumar, definitely. I do like uh, Anita Dongari's stuff as well. But personally, I'm, I'm not that fashion buff to be honest. But yeah, uh, I'm not to miss. I love Satyapal Sadi's. Favorite cartoon show, Tom and Jerry. Ask me. I can watch Tom and Jerry like like n number of times. Best female outfit. Anything that that anyone can carry, right? I think uh, there is nothing be uh, best or worst female outfit. What I feel is that what is important is you are able to carry it in the best way. That is it. For example, I personally love wearing sarees, so. That is for that. That is my choice. Thank you team Jantabar and I hope each of you enjoyed it. Do not miss to have a look at super women and super couples and let, do share your feedback. How did you find the book? Thank you team again. Thank you. Uh, so last question take any parting thought. I think uh, we should dare to dream and do not uh, and do work towards getting that dream, getting that dream as a reality because dreams are the re thank you Nidhi uh, because dreams are the one that uh, that actually make uh, that actually are the I would say a backbone to start something or the blueprint to start something so never uh, never get tired of dreaming and also plan to execute them to make those dreams true thanks again No, Abhishek. So, Abhishek has a question that says, ever thought to write books and series? No thought so far. Maybe, you never know when things, pan, how things pan out. It's too early to, for me to say all this. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. And patiently listen to me. Thanks again. <laughs>